evening, folks. Melvin here. Today I'm joined by my lovely sister, Martha. Hi, Martha. Hi, Melvin. Martha here. Thanks for having me. It's been too long. Say, how's the girlfriend? Fine. Still in Canada. How's your fiancé? Fine. Still in Elder Scrolls Online. Cool. Cool. Anyways, my sister and I were just reminiscing about the Disney animated films we grew up watching together. With memorable characters, catchy musical tunes, and serious misjudgments when it came to racial stereotypes, Disney's animated movies were our first introductions to fantastical worlds outside our own quiet cul-de-sac. They also featured some serious hotties who straight up jettisoned us into puberty. Oh yeah, after watching some of these, it was definitely no longer appropriate for us to share a room. And that's why we're here today. So here are my top five Disney princesses. And my top five Disney princes. First on my list is a pretty obvious choice. Let's just say it's better down where it's- She's 16. What? Yeah, she's hella underage. But she spends the entire movie wearing nothing but clams. Listen, if you keep going down this road, you're going to get both of us into a lot of trouble. So let's just move on. Hold on, let me make a quick change. All right. Okay, Jasmine is just as hot. I wouldn't mind checking out her diamond in the rough. Fifteen. Shit. Sixteen. God damn it! Eh, she's seventeen. Is that legal in our state? Let me check. No. Fuck! Okay, she's got to be over the age of consent. I mean, she lived with seven elderly men and even married a dude who found her in a box. Fourteen. What in the actual f I need to rethink my entire list. Okay, well while you fix your list and delete your browser history, I'll jump into my top five sexiest Disney princes. Here we go. You don't need a bunch of sassy vase women to tell me how chiseled Herc is. Honey, you mean Hercules. Hercules has so many muscles, he looks like an original Dragon Ball Z character. And while I'm not usually into bodybuilders, one look at Herc and I'm signing up for CrossFit. Just him walking down the street is enough for me to call the Trojan Man. Trojan Man! But he didn't always look this way. Hercules is the ultimate ugly duckling, and that's why I'm into him. He's like that kid who looked super awkward in high school, but then bulked up after college because he finally got self-esteem. And you know what that means. Hercules appreciates being hot. He knows it could go away at any second, sucked out of him as easy as it was to suck out his immortality. And those kind of guys are usually man whores. Hercules is throwing dick around like a hot dog vendor at a baseball game. And I'll reap the benefits. What? I said reap. Okay, bro. You're up. Right. That's me. Uh, okay. Here we go, I guess. Sure, Ursa looks like a gender-swapped Guy Fieri, but I like a broad with an appetite. I know, I typically go for the girl with a size zero waist. I can't help who's attracted to me. But Ursula works those wide latitudes. She has curves for days and she knows it. And honestly, I find that confident, sexy, and refreshing. Plus, look at the size of those boobies. Ursula is also a budding entrepreneur. Sure, her business is about turning merfolk into polyps to take advantage of a voice-based economy, but it's hard not to root for a self-starter. Ursula might be a power-hungry megalomaniac, but she's a power-hungry megalomaniac with a killer O-face. I mean, just look at her when she gets penetrated. Oh yeah, that's hot. And the best sexiest part? That witch got eight arms! That means like eight hand jobs! Wait a minute. King Triton brings a whole new meaning to the word dad bod. I know what you're thinking. Isn't he old as balls? First of all, he doesn't have any balls. And second, he's not old. He's experienced. This dude can control the wettest parts of the world with his rock-hard trident. No wonder every sea bitch down there is trying to get a handle on it. Sure, he's slightly xenophobic, but he got past that. He's not afraid to admit when he's wrong, which is very sexy in a mature man. Besides, look at those f***ing abs. You could melt butter on those salmon steaks. The only downside is that he has kids. I don't know if I'd be into playing stepmom to seven teenagers, one of which is dumb enough to sell her voice to be with a man. But on the other hand, it means King Triton is super fertile. I'm not sure how that would work yet, but I've started doing the math, and I think I'm close to cracking it. Anyway, once I figure it out, it's going to be nothing but yeah! Melvin? Oh god, it's me again? Uh... 
Really scraping the bottom of the barrel here, but... This tilth teapot I like to French is hot to handle. On the surface, she's gentle, kind, soft-spoken, and a big romantic. Who wouldn't fall in love with Jessica Fletcher herself? But under the surface bubbles a steaming sex pot who has one goal and one goal only, to serve the master. That's right, Mrs. Potts is ready to take orders, no matter how sexy, to make sure her master is satisfied. But she's also not afraid to put an asshole in its place. You must control your temper. Let's just say she likes her tea the way she likes her erotic movies, 50 shades darker. And I don't know about you, but I am down to mess around with that spout. She can tip me over and pour me out. Yuck. Let's get down to business. To ogle this dude. Huh. Li Shang is steadfast, strong, loyal, athletic. Oh God, I could look at him break pots with those pepperoni nerps all day. And you don't have to worry about him in bed because you know that dude hits the bullseye every single time. You know what I'm saying. Li Shang is the kind of man you can bring home to your dad, especially if he comes carrying the sword of the Hun general you just murdered together. Wouldn't you want to be with a man who makes you see fireworks? And for a man living in 15th century China, Li Shang is very progressive. I mean, he had feelings for Mulan before he even knew she was a woman. And when he does find out, nary a freak out to be found. No gay panic here. Li Shang, more like Bi Shang, I mean, bye, Shang. Look, that joke works better written out, okay? In short, Li Shang may make a man out of you, but he'd make a woman out of me. You're up. Oh, I got one. This snarky sass babe is Disney's Daria, and sarcastic girls are hot as hell. Literally in Meg's case. Meg is mega cynical. See what I did there? She's the kind of girl you'd hang out with under the bleachers and make fun of the senior pep rally together, but as friends. But then you both laugh at a killer joke she makes, and then maybe you both meet eyes and realize that maybe you're more than friends, and maybe it's time for us to explore that over, say, dinner and a movie. Sure, she'd rebuff your advances because she's seeing someone right now, but you know she's ready to date someone who treats her right. Because underneath those hard angles in 80s hair, Meg has a softer side. She totally sold her soul to save her boyfriend's life, and that asshole ran off with another chick. And if there's one thing I've learned about women, they have a type. If it happens before, it'll happen again. And that's when old Melvin will swoop in to pick up the pieces when things eventually go to Hades with Hercules. Oh, you think their love is immortal? <laughs> Please. Hercules is a mother effing god. You think he's gonna stick around when he can have Aphrodite, the goddess of love? I mean, shit, she's a skinnier waist than Meg. So I am totally ready to be the ducky to Meg's Molly Ringwald. My love for her is a titan waiting to be freed. When it comes to romantic partners, the beast is a great deal. You're essentially getting two lovers for the price of one. A beast in the streets, a prince in the sheets. Get you a man who does both. And he even sounds completely different. You're essentially in a relationship with two men and it won't be cheating. Because if there's one problem I have, it's juggling two men. <laughs> Since Beast has to find true love before the last petal falls, you know this dude is down to crown. He'll marry any old nerd that comes along, and this bookworm is ready to teach that man how to love. I don't even care that his manners are garbage. Do you know how hard it is to find a guy who actually wants to ballroom dance? Besides, look at him. You know what they say about a man with big claws, horns, and wolf feet. I would totally let him go beast mode on this bod. Beast mode! I bet one night with him would be transformative. He'd be such a good lover, he'd make light shoot out of my eyes, fingers, and toes. I only have one rule. No one enters my West Wing. Oh yeah, I bet you can think of two reasons why I put her on this list. I'll give you a hint. They're glued to a dress and they bounce when she walks. I know, I know, she's the ultimate male fantasy drawn by a horny cartoonist, but the real reason Jessica Rabbit is on my list is this. Loyalty. She stands by her man no matter what. I mean, Roger is wanted for murdering a human, the worst thing a toon could do. And you know what she does? Absolutely anything she can to prove his innocence. I mean, anything. Anything. Can you help me find him? Just name your price, and I'll pay it. Yeah, I bet you would. 
She may be a temptress on the surface, but her heart is in the right place. Between two gigantic boobies? Sorry. Sorry. Jessica could have any man she wants, but she picks Roger. And why? Because he makes her laugh. And also because apparently Roger is better in bed than Goofy. What the f*** was that about? I mean, it does make sense for Goofy to be sexual. He does have a son. I'm not gonna argue with that, but Christ, why is Goofy the Hugh Hefner of Toontown? Anyway, there is something very sweet about the hottest woman imaginable going for a comedian. I mean, every single sitcom has proved this sort of relationship works, but if she was my woman, I wouldn't be jealous when she played patty cake with someone else, because I know, at the end of the day, she's coming home to me with the true stars of the Ink and Paint Club. Lefty and righty. I mean, look at him! Roger uses them for a goddamn slip and slide! <laughs> Jesus Christ, can I get a glass of water? I need a glass of water! My number one spot is the street urchin himself, Aladdin. Wait, 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 wait. That dude is most definitely 16. Nope, 18. But Jasmine is 15! Yep. You think those palace guards are after him just because he stole a loaf of bread? That's not his fault, though. Let's just say Aladdin didn't need a genie to change the statutory laws in Agrabah. Besides, how can you say no to that perfect smile, tiny fez, and open vest? Do you trust me? Yeah, I trust you. And it doesn't even bother me that he's used that line on tons of girls to get out of using condoms. Listen, Aladdin worked his way to the top and he looked good doing it. He faced discrimination, extreme poverty, jail time, and parachute pants. And he still won the heart of the princess by being himself. Although I'm sure it didn't hurt having a monkey who dressed just like him. And the icing on this Arabian beefcake is that he has a magic carpet. A magic f***ing carpet! And I say that literally in my case because I've always wanted to do it on a magic carpet. That is number one on my it list. You don't want to go for a ride, do you? I do, Al. I really do. I am so ready for him to show me a whole new world. The second that carpet is 200 miles above sea level, I'm definitely rubbing his magic lamp three times. <laughs> This perfect 10 is my number one. Notre Dame Esmeralda is hot as f She's like a Frankenstein of sexy. The eyes of Emma Stone, the body of Top Chef's Padma Lakshmi, the hair of a Kardashian, and just the most perfect pair of tig old biggins. This gypsy hasn't just stolen my wallet, she's stolen my heart. She's an absolute smoke show, and when she's wearing that satin number, boy howdy. Smokin! Even the extras who don't move in the background unfreeze the wolf whistle. And I don't blame them. That outfit makes Jessica Rabbit look like Quasimodo. In fact, Esmeralda is so hot, a goddamn priest sings an entire song about how much of a boner he has for her. An entire song about a lusting priest in a Disney movie. And sure, she's got kind of a weird thing going on with that goat. <laughs> but I'm willing to ignore that to get entry into her court of miracles. Esmeralda is not just a pretty face, but she also has a kind heart. I mean, look at how she treats the hunchback with nothing short of affection and compassion. But that didn't stop her from falling in love with a perfect specimen of a man, which honestly works in my favor as I'm often called the Phoebus of my generation. See the resemblance? Who calls you the Phoebus of your generation? Lots of people. Name one. My girlfriend. Name two. My girlfriend's parents? Yeah, that checks out. And there you have it, our top five hottest uh, princesses, I guess? And Disney princes. Jeez, Martha, I'm sure you could have gone to 10 with your list. Oh yeah, I easily had a top 20. There's Tarzan, Robin Hood, he almost turned me into a furry, Maui from Moana, that sexy nerd from Atlantis the Lost Empire. Okay, okay, we get it, jeez. What is it with animators and cartoon jailbait? They definitely have a type. Speaking of types, what about Mulan? 16. What is wrong with you people? Hey folks, thanks for watching. If you want to see a playlist of my other top 10s, click the box on the left. Or if you want to see another dope video, click the box on the right. And be sure to hit that subscribe button to keep up to date on all the latest Warp Zone content. We also want to give a big shout out to Lisa Foils for reprising her role as Martha in this video. Check the description for links to all of her various social media. Anywho, that's it for me. Melvin out.